Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Osaka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. As you can see, Neil is back for his second week in a row. Hi. I hope you're all happy to see him. Judging from the comments, I do believe that there are actually two fans of Neil out there. <laughs> 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 Which is one more than I thought. <laughs> I increased my number of fans by 100%. I'm sure there are lots of people out there who are also missing Ashley and wondering where she is. Yeah. Neil is actually subbing in for Ashley this week because she's out sick. Yeah. So hopefully she'll be back next week, but um, we're just keeping it extra safe around here. Yeah, she'll be back. I feel like we've been saying this for the last month, but truly, right. truly, truly, as it's getting closer and closer to the day, yeah. we have just been thinking nonstop about Kakimori. That's right, um, finally. Finally. It's yeah. finally happening. Um, actually, Neil and I just came back from meeting the Kakimori team yeah. over at our store in yeah. Greenpoint, and they are there now actually setting up, getting ready for our um, Kakimori pop-up at Yoseka, yeah. which begins this Wednesday, September 28th, and goes till October 2nd. For anyone who doesn't know, and I don't know how you wouldn't know, <laughs> um, they are, Kakimori is a stationery store, stationery brand from yeah. Japan, and they are really well known for their inks um, all around the world, but in Japan, they actually have an ink stand yeah. Uh, where people can go and sign up, make appointments to mix their own custom ink blends. So that's something that they're known really well for and they also do notebook customization in-house right. at their store in Kuramae in Tokyo. Yeah, the notebook customization is a little hard to comprehend mm. unless you're there. Uh, you can go into the store, you can pick out the cover. Yeah. And then you can pick out different types of paper. Mm -hmm. And some papers are printed with different format. Mm -hmm. um, such as like monthly planner, uh, right. weekly line dot, so you can mix and match and then have them bind it together for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a really special service that they offer at Kakimori and their store is all about customization. If you are ever able to visit, it's really cool, but they only have the one store. So this is a really cool opportunity because their team members are traveling or have traveled from Japan to New York and they will be doing their ink stand workshops yeah. at Yoseka over the next few days. They will yeah. be having their notebooks and you can still do, um, they won't be doing the whole notebook customization thing where you get to choose your cover and choose your paper but you'll be able to choose from pre-made notebooks that they have and um, Kakimori will fasten them for you from a few different types of fastening styles yeah. which is really really cool as well so look out for that this week mm -hmm. um, to celebrate we also um, thought it would be uh, really cool to actually have Kakimori make for us at Yoseka custom ink blends for Yoseka right. that we could share with all of our friends online yeah. as well since not everyone is going to be able to come in store not everyone's in New York yeah. so look out for these inks we have two inks one is called hello and it's inspired by the brick store exterior um, that we have and the other one is called try me and it's ex and it's inspired by the dark brown wood of our um, main tester table very cute idea thank you yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really Good proud job, I'm really proud of these I have to take credit for them I was like what are we gonna do for these inks and then it just spoke to me um, yeah I thought it'd be a cute to, a cute way to like bring the store to people especially who like aren't able to come to the store well it kind of matches this whole experience too. yes yeah hollow yeah. and try me yeah. yeah so that's what we're all about and you can look out for those those will be um, dropping <laughs> that word is funny when we say it um, I don't it just sounds like we're like uh, it's like when like millions of people are like waiting for the next Yeezys or something, oh. but it's just our ink. It's um, also ink, ink drops. Oh, oh, wow! <laughs> 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 uh, uh, 
these inks will be coming to the website. So that's Kakimori. I'm so excited for that. I, I we, we just met the team, and you can tell that like that's all I'm thinking about right now. They're yeah. so they're so cute. They have so much enthusiasm. They brought snacks for us. They brought snacks for us. <laughs> they um, their aprons that they brought are really oh, cool. Yeah, it's cute. like yeah. it's cool because we've never been to Kakimori, so it's it's like being able to visit them. We they came to us. Nice. Um, all right, so that's Kakimori. This past week, we have also been working a lot on planner pre-orders. Every day that goes by, it seems like another planner arrives. Right. So now, this week, they haven't arrived yet, but this week we are expecting Himikuri to come. We are expecting replug calendars to yeah. arrive. And also look out for some unboxing videos on yeah. probably Himikuri. And um, let us know, let us know if you are like, curious to see an unboxing video on any of these planners yeah, as well. Something big happened this week, which is the Travelers pre-order yes. went live. This year's Travelers 2023 theme is Travelers Cafe. Yeah. And I'm really, really in love with this theme. I think Thank it's you. so cute. Yeah. The line, the one line is like, anywhere you are with your traveler's notebook and a cup of coffee is actually the traveler's cafe uh, makes me just so happy and it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside i feel like there's been a few things that we've been working on and yeah. that are finally out now yeah. so one of the big things that we actually talked about last week was that um we are here at Yoseka, we are in the process of adding um, a whole catalog of diamine inks, yeah. and there are hundreds of them actually, um, and there are collections, um, different collections of them. And so uh, last week we talked about how we've been working on the 150th anniversary inks, and those are available now. Yeah. And as of now, the diamine shimmering inks are also available, and that yeah. is a collection of 40 inks that are all shimmering. And um, Christine actually worked on the swatches, of which this is quite very thick. Quite a hefty yeah. stack of uh, swatches over here, and you can probably tell by the weight of this. It's, <laughs> it's not Tamoy River paper because uh, we're not we're we're not swatching on Tamoy River. <laughs> it's MD paper. We're yeah. we're um, going to be switching our swatching over to MD paper. It's quite a collection. It's 40 inks, like I was saying before of all of these shimmering inks. And shimmering inks are interesting because they are, they obviously have a base color, sometimes there's some sheen, and then the actual shimmer particles can be gold or Look silver. Look at your finger. Look at my finger. It's got that silver uh, shimmer on it. So the shimmer can be gold or silver, which is why there's so many different, like this is a gold one. Um, there's so many different combinations of what shimmering ink can actually look like in the end product. Yeah. And um, this is exciting because there are so many of them just in this one collection that you can explore. And for anyone who's curious about the bottles and what they look like, they're, um, we got them in these 50 milliliter sizes yeah. and they're, um, yeah, they're quite sizable bottles. You can see, you always have to like shake yeah. a shimmer ink before. Yeah. They, um, there are so many options for these. Um, sometimes, I think some of them come in like 30 milliliter, yeah. 50 milliliter, yeah. 10 milliliter. Yeah. And cartridges. Oh, yeah. cartridges too for all of these? Not all of them. Oh my gosh. So it started to get a little confusing. Yeah. But, but to simplify, we kind of just try to focus on like the, I think the biggest bottle. Mm -hmm or a lot of them or, oh, or okay. the 30 of, or, or 50. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right I middle. think that's a good size. Like most yeah. people are like, they don't want to do too small. Yeah. You know? um, also new from Diamine this week at Yoseka, it's not a new product from Diamine, but we also added the Diamine Guitar Series inks and these are available, since we're talking about ink bottle sizes, these are available in these smaller 30 milliliter bottles the 30 milliliter bottles look like this, and they're plastic as opposed to the 50 milliliter uh, glass bottles. Um, why are they called guitar? Why are they called guitar, Neil asks. I asked Christine the same question. There is a guitar, I forget what its name is, but it, um, the colors of that guitar mm -hmm. are the colors of this ink. Oh, yeah, so like the actual, like the a wood. Real, real guitar. A real guitar, like, like the name of one? a guitar. Oh. I think it's a type of guitar. Oh, yeah. Okay. This does really remind me of like the wood of 
I don't know guitars, but I know violins because I grew up playing the violin. And so this does remind me of the wood striations on a violin, mm -hmm. on a guitar. That's what that reminds me of. And then there's a blue. <laughs> and then there's, <laughs> it's like boom. And then there's the blue. <laughs> the blue is also on that guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. So this guitar has so all one, of these colors. Yeah, very interesting. It is interesting, and I'm I'm actually I love that color. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So those are the new diamine inks that we have added, and um, if you are interested in seeing more, just you wait. There will be more. <laughs> we have 110 more of them coming your way. <laughs> um, so you have that to look out for. Yeah. What else is new this week, Neil? Well, we got the um, two fountain pens. Um, actually, three. Three. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is not on the table. On, on the table. That means I forgot about it. What's the third uh -huh. one? Okay. Well. We have a winter sky. Finally, oh, finally right. Forgot about it. Uh, we have Sailor Minori. Yes. The fifth anniversary of Sailor Shikiori. Yeah, that's this one over here. This yeah. is the Sailor Minori fifth anniversary Shikiori fountain pen over here. And yeah. we did do an unboxing on this. So for anybody who wants to see this in more detail and know the story behind this pen, you can check yeah. the unboxing out. And then this one we have a. This is red coral. Mm for Pilot Limited Edition. The 2022 Limited Edition Vanishing yeah. Point. Every year there's a Limited Edition Vanishing Point. It is, it's like a red that's like almost a little bit pink too. Yeah. Um, and then all of the Limited Editions have these, have this engraving with a number on it over here and it says Limited Edition. Oh, yeah, yeah out of 2022. Yeah. So every year is like, it matches the year number. Oh yeah, that's cool. So, there's your special vanishing point, new this year. It's a red coral shimmer surface, shimmer, shimmer barrel with this like engraved detailing for yeah. the limited edition. So we have three new fountain pens. Oh, uh, we also got a bunch of uh, BGN. Oh, beans, yeah. Flake stickers. We can't stop talking about BGM. This is the fantasy trip series where you can, it's like little flake stickers of tickets. Um, themed after some fantastical destination that you can go to. Um, like this is like whales underwater that you can go see. And then these are post office themed ones. I love, I love a post, a postage stamp themed thing. <laughs> I just think that edge is really cute. So I love these. Yeah. Um, more fantasy trip. This one's cute. This one's space travel. See? Mm, I like that. Yeah. And then there's like a tracing paper material. So yeah. I think that's about it for the newly added stationery. Yeah. Do you have a favorite, Neil? Um, my favorite is Shikiori. Did I, <gasps> did I steal you? <laughs> Honestly, I prefer the Pro Gear Slim shape, but. Yeah. I think it's very refreshing that they did a 1911S that the glitter detail on the cap of this pen is a little bit different from what I've seen before. Um, like it looks cloudy, it looks like it's like layered and so I really like what they did with this one. I love rice! <laughs> I love rice. I love this pen, which is inspired by rice. I think it's beautiful. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention before that actually this um, pen comes with this special bottle of ink, which yeah. I'm actually really liking this color. I did take a sample of this ink from the bottle, and I've been writing with it these past few days, and I'm enjoying it quite a lot. So this has to be my pick of the week. If um, if I wanted to get a new sailor, this might be it. But nice. yeah. That's my pick. I guess it's your pick too? That's my pick. Okay, we're so predictable. Um, we also, I also like these Kakimori um, collaborations. Of course. Yeah. This is fifth anniversary. Yeah. And it's about the age of your second. So it's, it's what we like really watching this series coming from the beginning to to now. That's true. Like, it's um I think it's one of the first Sailor series that we got. It I remember I remember like the first time we talked about Sailor yeah. Shikiori and how 
I was just freaking out. We were still like relatively new to fountain pens in yeah. general yeah. Um, because we had started off like we couldn't afford getting fountain pens basically. Right. That's the first series we got. That's yeah, true. Yeah. So. That's true. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I forget that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It took a long time to get to us too. It, it took so long to get yeah. to us. I remember that. It took so long. Yes. All right, good answer, Neil. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. Well, this, these inks, of course, is special on its own um, because of this collaboration with Kakimori. Yes. And um, I think this really just, you know, represents our shop. We, we set up our shop in a way that, you know, it's all about experiencing, mm -hmm. um, testing pens. Really just like you come in and try out everything. Mm. If you like it, mm -hmm. uh, see, find out what you like, basically, mm -hmm. in the store. Mm -hmm. um, and to be able to have this workshop, one of the things to make it work is our setup. Mm -hmm. We're able to clear our space very quickly. Right. Because we're not like, it, our setup is not set to like, show like, like a grocery store kind of uh, products. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so we can clear the table. Easily clear the table. Yeah. Off. Right. And then that's always been our like, um, kind of like mission that space can be used as workshop mm -hmm. you know clear the table so more interactive you know including uh, every day when you come in and test pens mm -hmm. what you see at stores you see people like talking across from people from each other yeah yeah that happens all the time yeah and right now we can invite uh, Kakimori to come here mm -hmm. and do a workshop like like in this space mm -hmm. I think it's like a, it, it, it's the best use of this, this space. Mm, yes, very good. I agree. <laughs> well said. <laughs> do, you like, do you like my answer? I do. Yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe I'll have you back next week, Neil. I don't know. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we are really excited about these inks and we hope that um, you all will be looking forward to them coming out to the website soon. You know, now that we're on the topic of customers coming to the store, yeah. this brings us to our customer friends of the week this yeah. past week. Do you have a customer friend of the week, Neil? This past week I saw Minnie. Yeah. Um, I was trying to fix her um, Diamond 580. And you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I try my best. Oh uh, the, the, you have to watch the video. Yeah. Yeah, fix, fixing it in person is a little, it's a little hard. But oh. I think, uh, I think I show enough that she got the idea. Okay, and that's she, good. And she, she was, she was probably like, oh, you know, try to maybe uh, save me a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. She was like, I can just take it home. You could have. Oh, she's a good person. <laughs> yeah, you could have been there for like another half hour. Or right, something. Right, right. Yeah. I think I did that once for a customer who was just like watching me. Yeah. And I was sweating. Ah. Because like I was like, you know. It is really intense yeah, yeah. for anybody yeah. who's taken <laughs> apart a Twisby. It's easy to take it apart. The hard part is putting it back together. <laughs> right. yeah. um, so we always recommend that you watch a video if right, you're right. going to take apart your Twisby, yeah. and you don't really need to do it to clean. Right. But Minnie's the best. She's so sweet. She yeah, wrote us sweet. a letter. She writes us letters, and she like comes with her husband. She comes with her brother, and um, she like it's just I just love talking to her. Yeah. She's I also so cool. um, saw Ron. Oh yeah, yeah Ron, was Ron is always hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. And when Ron came by, Bethany was at the storefront. Uh huh. Um, and they they realized each other that you know they, they actually chatted in store. Uh, you know Wild. before before Bethany started working here. Right. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, or you're like confused about Bethany, Bethany, <laughs> like, cause it's confusing if you right, like, right, don't right. watch every episode, yeah. but Bethany um, used to be a customer and right. then she um, was sort of, her full-time job was becoming part-time, yeah. so she wanted to see if she could work here and I was like, absolutely perfect, you're perfect yeah. for us. And so she, she started working here and then very soon after that, she found another full-time job. Yeah. So she took that full-time job, she couldn't work here anymore, but, um, she's still very happy to spend some times like her weekends at the yeah. store in Greenpoint So that's why you see her face around sometimes and you'll see her coming at happy hours because she's still very much a part of our team yeah. I just love that like she and Ron 
Han met as customers <laughs> right, right. at Yoseka and then yeah. they saw each other and he's like, wait, you work here now? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. not really, but I do sometimes. <laughs> you know, that was a while back when yeah. she was deciding to move out of California. I think it was local. Wait, no, really? No? I don't know. I may be wrong. Okay, that's cool though. Yeah. I love Ron. He's so yeah. funny. So I have a customer friend of the week. I have two as well. Two? Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Well, my two customer friends of the week are Christiane and Monica, who actually sent us a little care package. Um, and I've been very behind opening our mail at Yoseka. So for anyone who sent us anything, I'm very <laughs> sorry if you wrote us a letter and I just like never got back to you. Um, but I do get through them. Yeah. I just. There, I'm late sometimes, but yeah. they sent it to us like a couple weeks ago and I finally did get a chance to open this package and lo and behold, they sent us like, they wrote beautiful letters to us, they sent us artwork, they sent us stickers, they sent us goodies and I want to share with everyone this amazing piece of art that Christiane actually made for us. I feel like maybe it's very inspired by our LCN because the LCN shop stamp really features our store's entrance. We'll take it out of the sleeve here because it actually, um, you can actually interact with this. Um, so it's this, it's like, I don't even know what you do. I guess it's like watercolor and there's like a stamp on it. So it's like mixed, mixed forms of media for sure. Um, and then she actually cut out a little window for our door and if you go in, it's, fountain pens and it's like this beautiful little vignette in yeah. the doorway. It's just very Yoseka. I love it. She made that for us and she sent it to us in this pristine packaging. Um, so Christiane, thank you so much for making this artwork for us and writing us a letter. You also sent us samples of Troublemaker ink and oh, yeah. Elias paper, which is from the Philippines. Oh, Have you yeah. heard of them? No, no, no. Yeah, apparently they make, has anyone heard of Elias paper? Um, it's very smooth, Christiane says, yeah. and she says that we should really consider them because it's very smooth and it makes fountain pens look really, really wonderful, fountain pen ink. We'll so I'm going to check this out. Yeah. I'm really excited. Um, thank you so much, Christiane and Monica, for putting this package together. You also sent us some goodies from Trader Joe's and you yeah. know we love goodies. Um, we will be eating our way through these gummies and all the other things that you sent us in your package. Thank you so much Thank for you. sending this package to us and sending these goodies to us. This sugar will be fueling us through the next few months and getting us through all the work that we have to do. And I'll think of you every time I munch on one of these Scandinavian gummies. I've already started eating this box, this pack. So um, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. My dentist thanks you for the cavity <laughs> that I'm sure get as well. I love gummies. <laughs> um, all right. So I think that's my customer friends of the week. Um, thank you so much for everyone for watching this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. Hope you all enjoyed it. And we will see you all on the next one. Have yeah. a great week. Bye. Bye.